गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट तो दिस इज दिड सिस्टम इन टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट थर्ड ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड इमरजेंस सिस्टम सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एमरजेंट सिस्टम एन इमरजेंट सिस्टम इज ए सिस्टम डेट हैज सॉफ्टवेयर इमरजेंट इन कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर डेडिकेटेड टू ए स्पेसिफिक पार्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन और प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए लार्ज सिस्टम एन इमेजेड सिस्टम इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन फॉर ए स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन और फंक्शन विद इन ए लार्ज सिस्टम द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम इंक्लूड होम अप्लाइंसेस सच एस वॉशिंग मशीन माइक्रोवेव ओवन ऑफिस ऑटोमेशन लाइक कैमराज फोटो कॉपियर प्रिंटर्स फेक्स मशीन सिक्योरिटी टेली कम्युनिकेशन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंटरटेनमेंट एरोस्पेस बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस ऑटोमोबाइल्स पर्सनल वॉच एंड इन डिफरेंट एम्बेड सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल दे यूज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर is specially designed processor such as DSP that is digital signal processor depending upon the application embedded system may be programmable or non programmable an embedded system has three component embedded system hardware embedded system software and operating system what is embedded system hardware as with any electronic system an embedded system requires a hardware platform on which it performs the operation embedded system hardware is built with a microprocessor or microcontroller usually an embedded system consists of power supply processor memory timers serial communication ports output circuits system application specific circuit when it comes to embedded system software the embedded system software is written to perform a specific specific function it is typically written in a high level language format and then compiled down to provide code that can be launched within a non volatile memory within the hardware an embedded system software is to designed to keep in view of the three limits first availability of system memory second limit of availability of processor speed and third one when the system runs continuously there is a need to limit power dissipation for events like stop run and wake up and third this is the real time operating system this system is said to be real time if it is essential to complete its work and deliver its service on time real time operating system manages the application software and efforts a mechanism to let the processor run the real time operating system is responsible for handling the hardware resources of a computer and host applications which run on the computer an rtos is specially designed to run applications when very precise timing and high amount of reliability especially this can be important in measurement and industrial automation systems where downtime is costly or a program delay could cause a safety hazard so there are so many types of system memory of a embedded system like internal ram at microcontroller ram at soc means system on chip or external ram internal caches at microprocessor 
external RAM chips less EEP ROM, ROM PROM, and memory addresses at the system ports. So these are the various form of system memory. It may be needed system. So there are different types of processor may be used in embedded system like microprocessor, microcontroller, digital signal processor, RISC, RISC means reduced instruction set complex processor, ASIPAC processor, ERM processor, and ASSP processor. For example, if we embedding a, embedding a processor in a embedded system, then what is, what is it? Microprocessor is a general purpose processor which can be embedded on a VLSI chip. The different system of microprocessor used in embedded system are given in the copy. Embedded, second, embedding a microcontroller in an embedded system. So the, so the different system of microcontroller controller used in embedded system are usually among the five five steam of family and embedding a DSP. A digital signal processor is a processor and it is an essential unit of an embedded system. The DSP applications are audio, video, multimedia, image processing, DSP, modem, HDTV, and telecommunication processing system. These processors are also used in system for recognizing DNA sequence, image pattern, etc. The different system of DSP used in embedded systems are given. When it comes to classification of embedded system, so embedded system are classified in three scale. A small scale embedded system, medium scale embedded system, sophisticated embedded system. When it comes to a small scale embedded system, a small scale embedded system are designed with a single 8 or 16 bit microcontroller, which may even be operated with a battery for developing embedded software for this type of system. An editor, assembler, integrated deployment environment, and cross assembler are the main programming tools. The medium scale embedded system are designed with a single or few 16-bit bit microcontroller DSP disk. This system have both hardware software complexity. When developing embedded system for these types of system, the following programming tools are available. They are C, C++, Visual, C++, Java, and RTOS source code engineering tools, debugger, simulator, and integrated deployment environment. And last classification of embedded system, that is sophisticated embedded system. In a sophisticated embedded system, have huge hardware and software complexity and may need PLA, IPs, ASIPs, scalable processor, or configurable processor. They are used for cutting edge applications that need hardware and software co-design and components which have to combine in the final system. <laughs> now, application of embedded system. Embedded system have different applications. 
few select applications of a mirror system are small cards, telecommunication, satellite, missile, digital consumer, electronics, computer networking, etc. When it comes to a mirror system in automobiles, so a mirror system are used in various automobiles like motor control system, cruise control system, engine or body safety, robotics in assembly line, car entertainment, car multimedia, and mobile and e-com access. When it comes to embedded system in telecommunication, so in telecommunication, mobile computing, networking, wireless communication, and when it comes to in a smart cards, so we talk about banking, telephone, security system. When it comes to in the field of missile and satellite, so embedded system found in defense, aerospace, and communication. When it comes to computer networking and for peripherals, so embedded system applications are networking system, image processing system, printers, network cards, monitors, and display. When application comes to digital consumer electronics, like DVD, set of box, high definition national TV, digital cameras, etc. So these are the application of the MVO system. So thanks all of you for having patience for listening my lecture. Thank you.